can't do that. We got, we got a little light job. <laughs> I told her, I said, don't pull the wrapper off or something. filming it. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Well, so uh, um, we're, uh, we're back here with Tomas, and you may remember uh, his uh, system for those of you that were following the Energy Sovereignty Project early on. Uh, Tomas had uh, gotten the bug and uh, he installed a, a four power wall system. We'll show that uh, a, again a little bit while we're doing kind of a walk around. Well, in that video we did a flyover and so uh, the, this is the flyover of uh, the new section that he's completed in the, uh, in the, the um, uh, on the roof. Uh, so we'll talk a little bit about that also a little bit further on in the video as we kind of go over things. Uh, he's got enough roof space and old panels uh, uh, in place to run his own country once he starts to swap out those uh, uh, those old panels. When, when did you put those in? 05. In 05? 05, 06. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. so nearly 20 years. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, the, the advance has it, just been, been and that's crazy. What, what brought me to the realization that it was time to start upgrading right. and getting a newer system in place. Right, and so the that, batteries. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and, and to work better with the batteries because I had enough history now with the battery use that we needed more storage capacity in the sense of I needed to be able to refill the battery mm -hmm. and I wasn't able to do that with the old system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And run the house. Right, so right. there was the, the shortfall. But realizing that, yes, as I start to replace some panels, I'll probably be able to get back to that. But right. with a new Y and a Cybertruck coming, I know that I'm going to need more power. So right. it's always trying to keep ahead of the curve because when you realize that you really need it, it's not going to be a quick install. It's going to take time. Sure, and, and you had a fairly high uh, uh, home usage to begin with. You're running what yeah. around 45, 50 well, kilowatt hours a, a day. A day, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah that's and that's without, and that's without your your, your the, cyber truck. Yes, yes. So yeah, you know the car the, uh, was adding. Uh, it was bringing it up to a, a sure. 60 to 90. So sure, and so now you know you're wondering why we needed six batteries, batteries right now. Yes. You're like, oh damn, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's basically just how that. Uh, how that all works and yep. you know so uh, um, so when they installed these um, uh, new panels um, Tomas was telling me a little bit about um, how Tesla approached it um, Tesla is maturing uh, is the only way that I can best describe what the difference is between Tomas's experience and some of the stories that I've been hearing over the last you know couple of years or so and the uh, amount of, of power that you wanted to put up was more you were saying that originally that, that yeah, you wanted them to replace I, I wanted to uh, replace what I call a, a, a functionally obsolete panel of 05 with a 162 panel when we currently have 340 available or larger but the idea was let's take the 162s off put 340s up mm. and get a bigger system so I was going to, I was shooting for a 16.32 system which is Tesla's larger system uh, the problem that I ran into is that they were not willing to uh, work over my existing uh, mounting brackets that I was perfectly willing to basically strip down to the shingle but I was not going to re-roof my roof right, and, right. and redo my comp shingles because they the flashing old. was intact. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it would have been ludicrous to, I paid for a 50 year comp roof, it's right. only 15 years into it. Uh, so I said, no, time out. I said, back to the drawing board. And I sent them back and then, you know, they came back finally with this 10.2 system. Mm -hmm. Which and was in addition to what you were already, already running, right? Correct. And so, so instead so now of my total, total is about 20.5. Exactly, that was what I was going to yeah. ask, was yeah. what, what, you know, yeah. what your total, yeah. what your total yeah. input was. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a sizable, yeah. that's a sizable system. And so, um, yeah, the, playing devil's advocate a little bit, I can kind of see why they would do that. Um, some of the stuff that we were hearing in the past was just that they were trying to make the systems too cookie cutter. And so one of the things that I was delighted in hearing from you was that they've at least gotten away from that, where they're, you know, they're willing to work with the homeowners a bit more than... Yes and no, but, but it took a fair amount of me pushing. Prodding, yeah, 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 sure, yeah, sure. Before sure, I could really sure. get that to, to, to sure. accomplish. And I suppose that would be the best takeaway that I could hope from, from this video is uh, to have folks continue to prod. Continue to go after the system that you want, that exactly. you need. Yeah. Uh, don't let the 
utility companies say, oh, we're only going to let you install so much, or uh, have Tesla come around and, and try and talk you down into a smaller system simply because they don't have the manpower or the number of solar panels available to serve all the comp all the customers that they want that oh you know by installing 20 kilowatts on on your house if you have a high usage home like uh, Tomas does or something that um, they would rather do a shorter system on yours and be able to do more other well, customers it, rather it, than I've heard that you know they only want to give you two power walls right 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 it's sort of their 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 straight right. across the board but uh, from the last couple of YouTube videos that I've been listening to, it sounds like they're switching yep. to you can only do Powerwall with their solar now. Yeah. So I'm I'm glad that I got my solar in because right. I don't know whether they would have told me, well, you need to add a Powerwall to do this. Yeah. Now. So. Well, so. Use your leverage, um, uh, work with Tesla if you can, but if you can't, then find a uh, third party Perfect. to uh, uh, to be able to uh, install the, the gear that you need. I think that would probably be uh, uh, still my uh, my suggestion, but uh, it's nice to see that Tesla's uh, working a little bit better. Now, here's the interesting thing uh, about Tomas's system and, and one of the main reasons why, I, ooh, I, you know, <laughs> I flew over here to try and, uh, try and have him uh, uh, discuss with us a little bit about some of Tesla's new gear and I had just heard uh, maybe a month or two ago about um, Tesla's new inverters that they were going to then be supplying that with their systems. And so I was uh, overjoyed when he said, oh, I got, a, I got a couple of those inverters. Oh, well, <laughs> let's go over there and, and have a look. Yeah. And so these are uh, the inverters. Now, um, uh, you were telling me the, the these are water-cooled, yeah? They are. Mm -hmm. They got, uh, uh, cut a picture in, but there is a radiator up here, uh -huh. and, uh, some liquid cooling pipes. Uh -huh. And yeah, uh, yeah. There's, Sweet. There's now, where's the intake on these no, on the side? It's uh, you know, the power goes in there. Oh, here it is. Here, yeah, here it is. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if this is still open, but it's, uh, it's a locker. Oh, oh all right. Let's yeah. see. Oh, did that kick it off then? No. Okay. I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's open it up. Yeah. Let's see if we can. We yeah. No, actually, it doesn't only open so far. I'll bring yeah. the camera around in a yeah. minute so that you can see the see the inside. See the inside. Yep. Um, yeah, very sweet, very sweet. And uh, and so then they installed uh, uh, two of these. These are uh, um, uh, uh, five k each. Yeah, I got now. It's I got three point eight and a seven point six. Okay, okay, yeah. but they're rated for. That's what it's rated for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Three eight and a seven six. Okay. Is what they did. Yeah. So this one's running a twenty amp breaker. This one's running. What's a 40 the max amp size for this cabinet? I think the 7.6. Okay. Okay. Maybe it might be. I don't know. That, okay. I couldn't tell you that. Well, I'll try and look right. into that, and uh, we'll do a follow-up oh, video. That'd yeah. be a good yeah. uh, reason. And so then, uh, um, these uh, these circuits here, um, uh, those are just to control these. Uh, uh, there's two breakers. One is a uh, what they call the neuro, which I think is the brains that mm -hmm. runs the operating software, and that's a, a double 15, and then the 20 and the 40. And then the other breakers are the battery bank and my solar okay. from the old system. Okay, okay, so those so, are So those over. they brought over to here to redistribute the load. So okay. it's a load game switching of each panel. Okay. And that's how you get around them telling you, oh, you need 400 amps. Right, no, by don't. splitting that up. Mm -hmm. You just split it up. And as it turns out, uh, we've now split this same box is outside still working the house right. and that was already split up from the main box okay and then the gateway sits up above okay fantastic yeah fantastic so so now in total when it when the when the system peaks out real world this time of year again we're we're close to uh, a peak time the sun is still kind of rising uh, uh, rising up and so uh, uh, these numbers will probably increase a little bit oh, yeah. but what uh, yeah. what what are you producing a day <laughs> Uh, Not average. The old we'll system is, 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 is giving me about 60, mm -hmm. and that's 10.2. So mm -hmm. I'm guessing because they are still missing a communication part from okay. this to here to link the app. That's still coming next week sometime. Mm -hmm. So then we will know what the amount is okay. actually okay. generated or capable of generating. The best guess you're probably looking at, uh, you're going to wind up peaking somewhere around 85, 90 kilowatt hours of at production least, a day. At least. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Well, we'll, well come that, back. That, that would probably be my guess. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. 90 to maybe 100. Yeah. That was the kind of the napkin yeah. drawing I did, the yeah. napkin yeah. calculation yeah. I did in yeah. the back of my okay. head there. Yeah. So uh, we'll come back in, uh, in in a couple of months and uh, and yeah. we'll we'll do another we'll little follow up and verify. Yeah. But uh, Tomas has been nice. He's he's actually oh, I he's I left he's swarm. left the love on here. So, uh, so oh I look said, at let's, that. Let's just peel look that at that. Off. Oh so satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> So satisfying. Go for it. Oh, oh yeah. thank you. Go for it. All right. Woo. There we go. Tesla inverter. Yeah. Well, good. I mean, uh, uh, looking forward to uh, uh, to seeing how uh, how these perform. We had a little bit of teething pains, as you know, with yeah. ours the yeah. first year yeah. that we uh, uh, put them in, and so uh, that'll be interesting to uh, uh, to see how uh, see how that goes. And so, uh, just for those uh, to, who would like to kind of recap on this video, let's go around the uh, corner and show them the power walls themselves. Sounds good. So this is the uh, system that uh, Tomas had set up here with the three inverters and the uh, four power wall batteries, nice and clean on the uh, on the side uh, uh, minor uh, double stack. But uh, this is a lot uh, uh, nicer since you got a pass through yeah. and stuff going on here. But uh, um, but yeah, the uh, we'll we'll take another look at the uh, uh, the system as a whole in a couple of months when it's uh, when it's max producing. But Tomas was just uh, talking about when you are setting up a home, especially if you're building a new home, or if you're looking for a home with the idea that you're going to install solar to the point where you are self-sufficient, that the direction that the home is placed and how much um, square footage is available to you on the roof that is quite and, critical. And the way the pitch is, you mm -hmm. know, as far as the, uh, the roof azimuth and the, and the mm -hmm. angles. Uh, so that small addition that you had, just because it was pointed in exactly the right direction, uh, uh, gained you... A lot of power, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the overall, like even this garage aspect, uh, I didn't originally want to have panels facing the street, so I was able to get all the panels so that you really didn't even see them. Right, 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 right. But at this point, actually Tesla's, I think they look great. They've got a nice skirt around them. You know, it's pretty sleek. So mm -hmm. um, I really was like, okay, you know, it's not going to matter. Right, uh, right, right. It, it looks good. But the cooling effect that the panels give the house roof diaphragm sure, yeah. are another benefit. And people often overlook that. But yeah, that's, that's, I, I, I hadn't thought about that either. Cause early, cool. Yeah, because earlier you were talking about all kinds of, you know, thermally controlled fans and, and stuff yep, that you yep, were going to yep, be putting yep, up there yep. running. And there's, there's uh, uh, you know, six roof fans up there that are something, uh -huh. you know, a couple of amps uh -huh. uh, on a hot day. Right, right. And uh, the longer you can keep them off, obviously, then, right. you know, but... And then obviously the only downside to that is, is the fact that they do absorb the heat. So in August, uh, uh, one of the things that you'll discover, and it'll be really interesting to uh, uh, to see what it, what it looks like in um, kind of that June period where you start to peak, and then we'll start to look at uh, August and see how much fall off you get because of the extra it's heat, heat. They, right. yeah, that uh, that the panels have, have absorbed. So yep. there is that. Yep. 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 All, yep. all good. But uh, you know, I'm still happy with the original layout and the original setup with the Sunny Boys. Right. Because uh, it's just everybody that sees it says, you know what, these things are bomb proof. So mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. you're off grid and you're working something like this, I think you know this is still a, a, a good solid system to work with. Yeah. And much more affordable than uh, some of the newer technology that you don't need. So. Well, once uh, once I get that one panel finalized, let's come on back and then I'd love to uh, uh, do some yeah. off grid tests with you. We'll shut All the right. we'll shut the external power uh, off and see uh, see how we see do. What huh? we're doing. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, thank Tomas, you. and right, uh, uh, and, and uh, 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 what we'll wind up doing is uh, coming back for that, and also to talk a little bit about the car, yep. or z, uh, yeah. multiple that you, you've got uh, going on, and uh, I'd love to see what uh, what you think about the Model Y and how that's been treating. You've had it around right. for what almost a year. Right? Father's Day, June, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. yeah. So it, it's been fantastic. I'm just just absolutely thrilled with uh, the whole package it's just uh, been really a lot of fun so well, outstanding yeah. well thank you again for inviting us over and thank you guys for uh, uh, joining us as we kick ourselves back off to our videos uh, i'm go. looking forward to getting uh, uh, getting more of these out and uh, we'll talk to you again soon and we'll see you all soon